the uh, job was a child who'd been knocked off their bike um, or knocked over in the road and were, was very unwell. We flew from Swindon to Bristol and whilst we were en route we found out that the child had a significant head injury um, and needed our um, expertise. All I know is I got on my bike and I sort of wheeled my bike onto the road and then my mind just went blank from there really. I was at work and I got a phone call from my partner Rob and um, Jamie's dad to say uh, don't panic but Jamie's being hit by a van and of course you do panic. I get to the end of the alleyway which is where I've run along and I can see the police cordoning off the road with the yellow tape. Um, I see an ambulance, paramedic, police cars, heart just sinks and think, blimey, this is <clears throat> not good. So we landed some distance away from the scene uh, just because that was the most uh, easily accessible point. We ran up the road towards the scene and uh, I ran past the point at which um, the patient James had been injured. He was on a, an ambulance trolley outside the back of an ambulance and clearly was very unwell. Um, he had a head injury, he was very agitated, um, and that's a really good sign of, uh, of damage within the head um, that is potentially life-threatening. As awful as it was, I knew he was in the best hands possible, um, which was great. Um, awful, awful situation which you wouldn't want anybody to be in at all, but in the best possible hands, and that's you know all you can really hope for, really. We know that the sooner that we're able to get those patients to hospital in a safe way, the more likely it is that they make a good uh, recovery. Um, in James's case, we knew that we needed to stabilise him first and then take him to hospital. Um, and that meant that he got the pre-hospital anaesthetic. He, was, he arrived in hospital sedated and anaesthetised, um, but he was safe at that point, And that would then facilitate his ongoing care in the hospital much more rapidly than if he'd arrived in hospital um, needing an anaesthetic. It's always pleasing to see patients come back and see us, but in uh, this particular case, it was lovely to see James and his family. Uh, they were so grateful for the care that they'd received from uh, our colleagues at the roadside uh, and the doctor on the air ambulance. And so it, uh, it makes the job worthwhile for us when we can see the, the recovery that people have been able to make thanks to the care that they've received and to see the gratitude uh, and the help that they're willing to give after the event. It was critical that the air ambulance team uh, looked after him. Without them, there might have been a totally different scenario. Well, it was just an ordinary day at the end of March. I'd been out at lunchtime meeting a friend for a pint. Uh, on my way back home, I decided I needed to go to the cash point in the marketplace in Fairford uh, to get some money. Um, as I approached the cash point, there was also a market on in the, in the market square. But that's the last I remember. Apparently I collapsed, hit my head on the pavement um, and there was some blood obviously from a head wound. My heart had stopped at least once if not twice uh, and realised they needed an air ambulance which was uh, scrambled out from Bristol Great Western Air Ambulance. Um, I'm told by my consultant that my heart actually stopped three times. My chances of survival were put at probably one in a hundred. Um, so my fa family and myself, of course, are grateful for all those people who came to my rescue. I wouldn't be here today without them. Monday morning, um, Finn was excited about going to school as usual. He loved school. We were dropped off a short distance from the school and I remember Finn sort of looking back at Louis in the car and giving him a big wave and saying bye, you know, sort of see you later. And we carried on the short walk to school and I remember seeing just literally the massive glass window and the the sort of driver's, driver's face, of look of sort of horror on his face. Obviously we were both hit and Finn was then thrown to the side of the road. Um, and I was sort of trapped underneath the bus 
and he'd carried on going then up the road, crashing into a car with me still stuck underneath before he stopped. L Louis was definitely my, my reason for wanting to be here still. You know, it, it was thanks to the, the air ambulance that he still has a mummy because losing his brother obviously was very, very hard for him and for me to, to see and to still see the effects of that, of him losing his brother, um, just, just the thought of him losing his brother and his mummy that day would just be too awful.